So there's one adenovirus. Do you agree with that? Okay. HPV stands for? You know what I need you to know about HPV? That there are many strains of this virus. And I need you to know that there are two vaccines that are out. And Gardasil only protects you against a few of those strains. Just four. And the sense. newest one that's come out, which I don't remember the name of it, protects you against only a few of the strains. So even if you take Gardasil or the new one, I don't know the name of it, if, even if you receive both of those vaccinations, you're not going to be impervious to getting HPV. But the problem with HPV is this. Okay. Human papillomavirus that invades the cervix. That's one problem. But what's the other problem that we're really worried about? The fact that it's an oncovirus and it's going to change the tissue in the cervix. And now that tissue can become cancerous. Yeah, because you see cervical cancer is now the other problem that's far worse than having HPV at the, of the cervix. It's so the, then it's you the just cervical cancer that's going to kill you. Sorry? So that's why we have pap tests, right? That's correct. Pap smears on a regular basis. All right? Now, that being said, um, tell me who are the, who, who's the demographic for getting this? Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Good. Who else? People that are sexually active. They're sexually active with people that you don't know the history, or if you don't know their history, if you haven't been with them a long time, right? The reason I'm saying this is because my wife, when Gardasil first came out, she said, should I get that? 